Hey guys, welcome back to Cadillac Coachworks. So today we're actually going to a uh, Cadillac LaSalle Club meeting uh, and there's a really rare, rare car that's there. It's the uh, 1959 Eldorado Brome. Uh, one of 100 made, 99 to survive, uh, well maybe less, but one was damaged uh, when it was being delivered from uh, Italy. So anyways, we'll be taking the 60 special and uh, stay tuned uh, we can walk around that car and see some other gorgeous cars as well and here we are this is the 26th Cadillac Eldorado Brome to be built you can see that the front end is one piece and the hood doesn't elongate down in between the fenders all the way to the front the grille is slightly different 59 bumper the same there's no wings no brow trim uh, we actually do have a hood ornament on this one uh, which wasn't, you know, happening in 59. Uh, if you look close, there's the Eldorado Brome rims, actual rims, not hubcaps. And then you see the cowl grill does not extend uh, past the, uh, well, as as wide as a regular 59. Windshield is completely different. The wing window is completely different. It's elongated. Right there it says Brome. And uh, yeah, so the interior was actually ordered in cloth, not leather, as it was going to Colorado. The dash is pretty much the same. You see the Ultronic Eye there, AC car, obviously. Uh, the glass is completely different, but if you go down the side right here, you can see that the quarter panel has a bevel on it, unlike a 60. And then a lot of people just get them confused because of those fins, but those fins aren't even like a 60. They're their own one-off thing. The tail lights are very rare. Uh, backup lights are on the actual center of the bumper. There's no grill uh, on the back. And uh, yeah, but let's compare it over here. Uh, let me pan over to the right. There we go. Uh, a 1960 DeVille convertible. You can see the bumper is obviously different. Grill's different. But see how the hood elongates and drops down? That's the, the same thing happened on the 59. But let's go along the side right here and you can see that that bevel that comes along the fender disappears before the door so the quarter panel is completely different as is the fin the fin is a lot taller the actual fin light tail light is different uh, you have the stacked tail lights there and then a grill that uh, goes between the bezels of the bumper so there is some uh, quite you know big differences between the 59 brome and just a 60 cadillac Let's take a look uh, under the hood of the 59. Here we are, I've got a 390, 340 horse, and with the tricarb setup, quite a sight to see. Uh, as you can see, the tail lights on the 59, they usually have the clear lens in the, in the backup, but nope, this one's on the bumper. So with the Eldorado Brown, let's take it some, a look at some other beautiful cars that we got going on over here. Yeah, no, I mean, you could be. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
We're going to stick with the original. This is quite a high horsepower Cadillac. That is a 511 big block. And to stuff that uh, in that engine compartment, the guy had to actually make a cow in the hood. And you can see right there, there's, uh, let me pan back over there, there's actually a tachometer in there. Pretty amazing. Because we could not find her. Yes. And we got we have a Well, I'm back home uh, enjoying a beer, but that was it. It was a great, great uh, little get-together. Um, if you can, check out the Cadillac LaSalle Club page. There's lots of cool stuff on there. Um, but yeah, please enjoy some photos with the little music that I'm going to have coming towards the end. And uh, any questions, comments, CadillacCoachWorks at Yahoo.com, hit me up. Uh, you guys have a fantastic day.